Welcome to Softree. I'm Erin, and I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to create a vertical alignment. We must create our horizontal alignment before we can go on to this step. The design file we're going to open up today already has that done. Let's start by adjusting our screen layout to something a little bit more appropriate. As you can see here in our profile window, we have a location designed with no vertical alignment. This profile window is showing our ground line only. So, over the next couple of steps, we're going to be adding in a vertical alignment. We will start by right-clicking in the profile window and selecting the Add slash Edit IP tool. Then, anywhere right of station 0 plus 0, 0, we're going to be creating our new vertical intersection point. Similar to how our plan window worked, we're able to use our mouse to create new intersection points, edit them, insert them, and delete them. But there are a few subtle differences between our plan and our profile windows. Here in our profile window, we can't have a backwards segment. So we're restricted to that station range where we've inserted the point between. In our profile window as well, we can insert a point no matter where our mouse cursor is. And finally, profile editing is constrained by the length of our horizontal alignment. If we remove one end of our horizontal alignment, we're generally going to end up removing some of our vertical. Now we've got our vertical alignment before the curves are applied. Being consistent to our training book, we're actually going to close Align Stage 1 and open up the second file, Align Stage 2. Vertical curves are very similar to horizontal curves. You first identify a vertical intersection point, then you define the curve between the tangents it defines. Vertical curves are created and edited using our vertical curve panel. Okay, now let's add some curves. We're going to use the previous IP or next IP buttons within our vertical curve panel to select the second vertical intersection point in our alignment. Then we'll press the Get Default Curve button and apply to create our first curve. Now let's move along to our next IP point to apply a similar curve. You'll notice here on our screen we've had an error message. Our curve does not fit the tangents. When a curve does not fit tangents, we can either shorten the curve, shorten the previous or next curve, or move our intersection points to reduce the angle between tangents or to lengthen them. In this case, our curve is already defined as the shortest curve allowed for its design speed. So let's try changing the speed value down to 20, but this speed is too slow. The whole point of our design here is to increase the design speed of this section of the road. Instead, we're going to have to lower this point to reduce the grade change. With a little bit of adjusting, we finally get our intersection point to work for our 40 mile an hour curve. We'll hit apply, move ahead, and finish our last curve. Back in our profile window, let's edit another intersection point. Notice when this intersection point is captured, the curves update dynamically as we move our mouse. Also, notice that we aren't allowed to overlap the curves or push a curve off the end of the road. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining us.